Hello all, good morning. How are we all doing? Um, thought I'd make a quick video. This is going to be a bit rushed because I'm driving home for Christmas and I'm already late. But I wanted to make a quick video because I won't have my Mac while I'm away. So I just wanted to get this um, done recorded before I do go. Um, so I'm only going to have time to show four attacks, which is a shame because this war... Uh, there's a lot of good ones again. We destroyed these guys. Level 8 clan. Uh, we won 58-21. They gave up, um, as you can see. Um, but that's because we straight wrecked these guys. All the 9s cleaned. Uh, the couple of 8s that they had. And one of the 10s restarted which will show and the other two so yeah really nice um, attacks by everyone let's just have a quick look at who did what so Chuck got the three star on the 10 will show that and I'm really only gonna have time to have a look down to see who got six star wars we've got ultimate um, six star war myself another six star war uh, and Chuck on his mini six star war so what we'll do is we'll show one of each of the guys that got six stars one of their attacks and we'll show chuck's turn or ten attack that's pretty much all i'm gonna have time for um but they're all rather nice so let's get into it so just pause have a look first of all so turn or ten obviously fairly it's not let me pause again there we go fairly underdeveloped turn or ten um but has i think a level two and a level one inferno um, pretty low level heroes but any base that has infernos is no cakewalk that's for sure and to hit it with a La Luna attack which is what he does here is uh, is brave to say the least so let's have a look what he does he comes in I think this is just a, a hog law yeah brings out the CC and a couple of poisons on that should take all of that out just wait for the first one to ramp up before drops the second. Here comes the second one. Now what he does here, you'll see he's got three lightnings and a quake spell. So Chuck is one of these guys that has all sorts of charts about what level of lightning you need to take out what building. I could do with printing that out and putting it somewhere, I think. Um, but here, and it actually drops it on the queen. I didn't see that as well. That's beautiful. So he has dropped it. Uh, three lightning on the queen and a quake and look at that the queen is nearly dead uh, and that inferno is taken out I didn't realize he'd got the queen as well that's that's very nice um, and he comes with a single golem and his heroes uh, take out the rest of those skellies target here is obviously these two max AD or town or nine max AD um, takes one out and obviously wants to clean up that queen as well so rage is the king she locks on runs straight in and takes out the small piece of health the, the queen has got queen is on the other ad not waiting three hounds into the uh remaining ad and it's back by loons so he's not got many spells left at this point but he does have a haste and he does have a freeze and he's going to freeze this multi shortly yep there's the haste to speed them in and there's the freeze to stop the multi beating on his loons and sure enough the loons path in and that multi doesn't really cause him much of a problem now the one thing um because he wrecked the base so quickly none of the hounds i don't think i think one of the yeah, one of the hounds has gone down still got two up um that doesn't doesn't really hurt him but it would have been nice for clean up to have those guys pop a really nice attack. I like the way Chuck thinks out his attacks. He obviously spends a bit of time planning them um, because he always comes in with something slightly different. And I thought this was this was really nice. So I think we can fast forward it from here. Loons are chasing the king round, and it's just clean up time. So really nice attack. I really liked it. And I think once they saw that, if they hadn't given up by then, they certainly threw the towel in once they um, saw one of their tens get threed. Um, so let's have a look down on the map. Uh, we've got 
so this is me on day number five. Let's pause it again. So, yeah, max, max defense, turn on nine, I think. Um, but what allowed me, because I'm obviously still, uh, uh, well, very immature on defense, but my offense is getting up there. But, you know, very low level heroes, still baby heroes for me. Just got my level two hounds, which means I can attack these max. Um, Max defense bases now, and because he had low level heroes, gave me the confidence to go after this guy. And by this point, there was only I think two nines left, so there wasn't a lot of choice. So I just copied the attack before, so it was a clean up, um, and sent two hogs in to get the lure. Knew what was in there. Uh, why these guys didn't have hounds, I don't know. Made, made it a lot easier just being able to double drop poisons on the dragloons. I think they had dragloons pretty much show out. Dragloons are useless now at turn all nine. Um, as you can see, it's just uh, with the extra time as well, two hog trigger, drop the poison, and it's like they don't have a CC. Also, getting the heroes under poison there, not that it really does much. Um, so, in with the golem from the top, and five whiz just to clean out this trash, and my heroes are going to go in and kill the queen. <coughs> Wait for that to clear out, and then drop the jump down. The king actually walks on me here. I think I go uh, drop it. So the queen does what I wanted to do. She goes in. King, I drop a little too near that um, dark barrack, and he walks on me. But it's not a drama. The, the enemy queen's already down. So it's now safe to start the air attack. <coughs> and one hound in and a few targeted loons. Second hand, hound in from a, a horizontal angle. Back by other loons. No rage for the first... AD, uh, another hound in, back by loons to the south, and rage that one as the other hounds come and loons come round. Tesla farm in the core, so drop a rage there, and back end loons to take out these outline defences as the hounds come round. Final rage down, just to speed everything up through that Tesla farm and remaining AD. Pretty much game over at this point. Loons are doing clean up behind. Sorry, pups are doing clean up behind. Still loads of loons left. Hounds haven't all popped again, which is, I guess, rare with um, four max ads and only three hounds. But not really an issue again. Base got wrecked. Let's fast forward. Done. So the next one we want to look at is Chuck on his mini, who got a six star wars. We said so on number eleven, I think it is. Yeah. So this is a holo. Again, Chuck bringing the classy attacks. Um, pause it again. Quick look at this base. So it's very spread out. I really like these bases. I normally uh, attack them. Well, I don't know. I used to attack them with witches, I suppose, but. If you look at it, it's set up for a holo. All the ADs are cored, so you've got a chance to bring loons in to take out those outline defences and, and hog the core, which is what he does, so let's watch. <clears throat> so targeted loons coming in from all angles to take out some of those outline defences. Queen not an issue. ADs will start firing, but can't really deal with all the angles the loons are coming in from. CC's triggered and it's a dragon. Just let that fly around harmlessly for now. Opts not to bring the double poison this time. He's going to kill it in play because he's got a, a golem a whiz and heroes coming in. So he'll let the whiz and his queen take out the drag. <clears throat> I was going to say that beefy level 30 queen, but of course he's on his mini, so he's only a level 12 queen. But queen gets through the through the, um, through the the job, kills the drag, loon comes out, still got some whiz to take care of that. And in come the hogs from the top to take out the remaining outline defences. Um, pretty low health, but he's got two heals, I guess we'll start to use those now they're in the core. 
sometime soon. They're pretty low health. Has he forgotten the heels? Does he not need the heels? Is he showcase showboating and doesn't need the heels? I think he, I think he is. Um, yeah, two heels in the bag. What a show off. <laughs> Very nice. Maybe disconnected. I don't know. I um, I would drop them for sure to be safe. But he doesn't by the look of it. Didn't notice that first time I watched it. So there we go. A uh, a holo with two spells in the bag at Town Hall 9. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, very classy attack, as always, as you would expect from Chuck. Let's first forward it. Does he swag heal? Does he drop in the middle? No, certainly not. Holds on to those. Yeah, even better attack than I thought then with those two spells still in the bag. Did not see that first time. So let's go down. Time for one more, and then I really have to go. So we'll look at ultimate, ultimate. Quite sure how to say it. Um, on 14, and this is a go ho wipe or go wipe ho. <clears throat> Similar kind of base in terms of the way that it's spread out. So earthquake to open up a path to the core. A couple of hogs in to get the CC trigger, I guess. And get held up on the air defense. So are they going to get it? Yep. Do come through, get it, and no poison, so he's going to take them out in play as well. Just thinking about what to do, maybe. Drops a whiz to bring it all over. And in with the golem. Golems. And whiz behind, drops his queen. <clears throat> um, to take out the drag while it's distracted. And the drag goes down without causing much damage. Gollum is getting some treatment from the loon, but that goes down, and in come the peckers. So, and the peckers are behaving. A bit of an unknown quantity, peckers sometimes, but they are raged up in the core, and three raged peckers in the core is going to wreck things. And now, here come the surgical hogs. So, um, targeted hogs on outside defences drops the king, king goes walkies uh, not an issue though, still got peckers up in the core hogs still doing work on the outside uh, heel down to keep those last two up the king is just gone walkies Decided not to get involved in the uh, in the hard battle. He's just going to walk around and pick off some collectors. Rages him up to get him interested. <clears throat> oh, we've still got work going on in the core. We've still got these two hogs that are surviving to go around and clean up. And still, is it two peckers up in the core? Certainly got one up. And clean up whiz down. And that's it. Um, very nicely done. So a go wipe with surgical hog back end. Nice. So that's it. That's all I've got time for today, guys. Um, the next war, or I don't know if it's going to be our next war, but certainly war soon, 1st of January, is going to be a scrimmage with Phantom Zone 2. So I really hope we match up for that. I've got both my accounts over and available um, for that war. So really looking forward to that. It should be good. Um, so until then, I shall sign off and see you guys later.